What's up, Reef fam? Here at the Richmond Reef, we got a new toy, a new salinity tester from Hannah. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this uh, Hannah checker, and I'm going to be doing a quick rundown of the calibration process. And I'm also going to be showing some uses because I'm making some water, and I'm going to be doing some water testing. So thanks for watching and enjoy this video. <music> Let's slide the sleeve off, open it up, and see what we got inside. Of course, first we got our salinity pin. Very nice design. It's a protective cap. You got your temperature probe and your graphite magnetic probe to check salinity. And let's see what else is in the box. We have four calibration solutions inside the box. That's great. And the instruction manual. So super simple, not a lot of stuff in the box. And let me go ahead and read these instructions and see what I have to do to get this little guy calibrated and ready to go for my water testing today. The first little step, it says, the tester is shipped dry before use. Remove the protective cap, rinse the electrode with purified water. I have RODI water right here, and it says dry it off, and then press the power on and off button, and turn the tester on, and let it go through the startup screen, and it says you want to calibrate this before using it the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip this in the RODI water. And then I'm going to dry thoroughly and I'll cut back to this scene when I first turn it on. Right, so we got it completely dry. We got both probes dried and let's go ahead and turn this on and see what happens. It says the battery is 100% and it's already reading the salinity which it has nothing and it's telling the temperature and celsius so i need to figure out also how to turn that to fahrenheit because in the u.s we read fahrenheit I figured out how to go ahead and change the um temperature measurement from celsius to fahrenheit what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn off the back battery backing plate it's got this slotted part i went ahead and used this penny in the slotted part to turn it off of the unit and inside of here right there is a black button so what you want to do is you want to turn the unit on let it cycle through and wait a second and you see how it switched to Fahrenheit right now so if I go ahead and I come back over here and hit this black button in here then you're into this screen and then so you can also change the measurement for the salinity um, by pressing calibrate. And those are the different measurements you can read in, but I wanna be writing in parts per thousand. So if you hit the on off button, there it is. That That's what the screen you wanna see. And it says set T, set T for temperature, and you hit calibrate to switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we're gonna go ahead and leave it on Fahrenheit. And then if you cycle through one more time, this is your auto shut off time. So in eight minutes, this will shut off. And since we're done and I got everything I needed done, go ahead and just cut the unit off. Oh. All right, cut it off, cut it back on. And Come on, there you go, we're reading in Fahrenheit. So pretty easy, pretty simple. You just have to read the instructions. All right, so another thing I did by uh, going through the same steps that I showed you on the back by opening this up and then hitting the button back there is I went ahead and I changed the measurement from parts per thousand to specific gravity because I'm more accustomed to reading my tank's water parameters or salinity level and specific gravity reading. So I went ahead and I got that. So we already went ahead and got set up. We got Fahrenheit 
and the measurement that I like to use set up. So now it's time to calibrate and test this out and see how well All it right, does. So for calibration, you turn on the unit and let it go through its cycle and hit calibrate. And then it says to use the solution this 35 parts per thousand so go ahead and cut your packet open and you want to stick the unit inside the packet and then you will see that it is actually recording and you have the calibration button is flashing and it says you want to have it in something that's going to keep this propped up and then it says after it accepts it after it records the solution it will show STOR and then it will return to measurement mode and it already did that wow that was quick and you see 1.026 that is perfect also it says you don't want to heat up this packet or anything you just go ahead and cut it and use it and man calibration made simple hannah checker you are awesome so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to rinse this off with rodi water again and i'm going to go ahead and start checking the salinity in my tank so stay tuned to see those measurements and see this thing in action I'm pretty excited. This thing seems pretty simple and pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do my first testing with the salinity tester from Hannah. And let's see where we're at in the main display. And there we go. As you can tell, it's reading 1.026. I actually checked this with my refractometer before. And yes, I calibrated my refractometer before testing. And it said my salinity was at 1.026 as well. So the HANA checker is reading accurately. And this is so easy to check my salinity. It is not even funny. This thing is great. Now I'm going to test my water. I'm making water for a water change and we're going to do the same thing and see where we're that's at. We're at my bucket of water and let's test the salinity. Just give it a couple minutes. And as you can tell, it's one point high. I need to add a little bit of RODI water, but as you can tell by this, this thing is super simple and super easy to use. It's easy to calibrate, and yeah, I think this is the first time using it, and I'm in love already. Man, this makes checking salinity so much easier. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Alright, thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit my logo. Also, turn on that notification bell to get further updates. And if you haven't seen any of these videos, go ahead and click and watch. Thank you.